Greetings, YouTube family. I think I am going to start calling you family because I have had quite an epiphany over the last few days. Some of the last house sits I've done have been less than ideal, let's put it that way. And I got a message today that was rather hateful. And I know why. It was a spiritual thing. It wasn't what they were saying wasn't even really true, as far as I recollect. But that's really neither here nor there. But let me tell you, the response I am taking, which had already been decided before I woke up and got the text this morning. I had, I think I already shared that I have already, uh, before I came to Fort Worth, I booked four weeks in a timeshare in Central Tennessee which pretty much covers the whole month of January because I was planning to take January, February, and March off to, well, not off. I was going to hibernate so I could work on YouTube, work on my fitness and health and uh, get my uh, funding, i.e. income through YouTube stable for down the road because this house sitting is interesting. It's not bad. You just sometimes don't know what you're walking into. And sometimes when you walk out, you apparently leave an entirely different uh, impression than you thought you left. And it takes them two or three weeks to tell you. But anyway, my end of November, two thirds of December sit canceled on me this morning after I'd been there sit her twice already. So that was kind of a gut punch, but let me just do a little intro here so you know who I am and what channel this is and all that kind of stuff. I'm Chip, this channel is CP59Fit, where I talk about unconventional healthy living strategies. Thank you for joining me. I am starting to consider you my family and I'll, I'll go into that in just a minute why, what what's changing in that particular area. If you hear things, like gunshot, it's actually the sweet gum balls falling off the tree and hitting the sunroof, the sunroom roof here. I am actually uh, for two night, three nights here at a friend's house in Tyler, Texas. I'm sitting on her sun porch, sunroom, whatever you call it. And I'm in this particular position because on that side there was too much backlight and I'm a, there is a glare on this side. Hopefully that's not too much backlight but I did like the follow your dreams signed back here. So that's why it's in the background and I'm facing this direction. There is a, see, I think it's to my left. So it should be in that corner. Or did I say use my left hand? Maybe that corner because I am seeing myself and I'm not sure how it comes up on the screen, but there is a little red, white, and blue circle that if you click on that, if you are not subscribed, it will take you to the subscribe link. And I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. If you can't find that, then down below there's a red subscribe button and down even below that in the description there's a withkoji.com link, which is a link of links. So that will have a link to this channel. It will have a link to my other channel, Chilling with Chip, since I am a location independent full-time digital nomad. I have a Chillin' with Chip channel. And I thank you greatly for joining both of them. I appreciate your comments and if you could Boop that like button, that's the thumbs up one, or boop the thumbs down one, it doesn't really matter at this point. That tells the YouTube algorithm that somebody's watching and interacting. That is immensely appreciated. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm safe, I'm healthy, I'm happy. I'm a little heavier than I have been, but uh, uh, tomorrow I head out to Louisiana. I'm staying with a dear couple in West Monroe that I've stayed with two times before as I've traversed back and forth from Texas to the East Coast. They have an absolutely five plus star Airbnb room. And I've been fortunate that it's been available. This will be my third stop. From there, Thursday, I will go to Fair Play, South Carolina and stay in a cabin at the Thousand Trails campground there. And I've been fortunate that I've been doing the body by science workouts in Northern Virginia 
and I haven't found anybody on the road to do, a, do them with, but the doctor that wrote the book, Dr. Douglas McGuff, is an ER doctor in Seneca, South Carolina, and his studio is in another town, Seneca, I think is where, is that what I swear? No, Greenville is where he's the doctor. Seneca is where the studio is, and Fair Play is where the campground is. And I think it's a total of 45 minutes from the furthest points, but the studio is only about 20 minutes from the campground. So I called them today, and I have an appointment next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time to get another number 11 on my Body by Science workouts done. Although at that by then it will be about six weeks since I have done one, but the DEXA scan results I shared last week indicate that they are, that the workouts are helping, and my way of eating is helping. So I'm very pleased with that. And uh, uh, the the house that I did in Eastern Tennessee, I felt a different presence in the whole area than I had the first time I was there. And when my friend arrived, I told her I felt like a... And the homeowners had told me that uh, a lot of opioid addicts had moved into the area because of a treatment they had. So I'm thinking it's some kind of spiritual warfare going on, which didn't totally affect me too much. But I think it has because that's where I got the uh, cancellation from this morning. And, you know, it's always your first impression to blame other people. And what they're saying might be true. I really don't believe it is because the lady that was staying with me is OCD in cleaning. Thank you for that. Because they said I had left the uh, stovetop uh, filthy. And that's not possible with this lady I was staying with. I mean, she left like a few hours before they got back, I believe. And I don't think I even cooked there after they got home. It was a, a kitchen in, in the apartment I was staying in. But anyway, considering the totality of the circumstances, I'm kind of glad that they canceled. And so I'm making alternate plans now for December. The people, the lady here has a farm on the East Coast and a townhouse that I rented from her when I first moved to Virginia. And her and the other tenant in the townhouse are going to Williamsburg. I just helped them arrange a, a week in a two bedroom condo uh, a little before Christmas. So I might just rent one myself and go down there to Williamsburg with them since I already have the annual pass for the three attractions that charge you to get in. Well, I guess five charge you to get in, but I have the National Parks Pass. So I don't know if I'll go there or not. There was a dog sit available in Williamsburg for that same week. so. I may consider that, but it kind of looked like you had to stay in the um, master bedroom, which I'm finding that is not the best option. If they don't have a guest room, I'm probably not going to do it. And honestly, I think I'm kind of, kind of, sort of moving away from full-time house sitting. I mean, obviously I'm planning to take three months off, so now maybe I'll take December, January, and February, which could be good for you because I was... I had planned to launch a 30-day, well, four-week month. I guess May, February is only four weeks, so I guess if I do it in January, it'll be 30 days and not 28. But a course where you could sign up, pay a little fee, then I'd do a Zoom once a week, and we'd have a discussion, probably about the video I made that week on the latest unconventional healthy living strategy I'm working on. Then we could talk about it. And you can ask me questions, you know, face to face as face to face as Zoom gets. So now maybe I will launch that in January. I was planning to work on it in January and launch it in February, but I also don't know where I'll be in February. I was thinking I'd be heading to Phoenix, but now that December is open, I told the lady I was planning to meet in Phoenix that I might be there in December. So I can go with the punch, flow with the punches. I can adapt. I have friends all over the place and I obviously have no, no major challenges in finding a place to stay. There's Airbnbs everywhere. There's timeshares available everywhere. And most of the states I'm going through have these campgrounds that I can get places. 
So all of that is good. It just has not been ideal pretty much ever since the internet went out in, where was that? Pennsylvania. It was weak in Pennsylvania. It was weak in Williamsburg. It was weak in Eastern Tennessee. It was acceptable in Central Tennessee, but I couldn't, I had to do the GoPro upload off of cellular. So I'll have to do that all of February also, but we will be able to zoom there because the internet, the free internet is strong enough to do zoom calls, but it's not, it doesn't uh, do some kind of a security with the GoPro camera. So hopefully this is sounding good. Hopefully it's looking good. And I guess the big announcement is that I am planning to move forward with some kind of a program you can participate in to ask me questions about my unconventional healthy living strategies and we can have a discussion more than me just looking at a camera and talking to you. So family, thank you for your support. I will release more information as I have it. Right now it's all up here. Next week at the campground I will probably get a outline made and then I have a three week sit. I think it's three weeks. It's from the second to the 20. Third, yeah, that's 21 days in Wilmington with one dog. And I really don't need to sightsee a lot there because I've already been there, what, four times or in the area. Plus, I have friends there. I need to call them, see if I can come in a night early, my friends. <laughs> because I have to be at the house sit at 11 a.m. and I think it's about a five hour drive from the campground. If they're not available, there's always an Airbnb or a hotel. But anyway, I've kind of learned that I need to do less sightseeing and more studying and filming on these house sits. And maybe that's a good reason to go back to places I've already been, but I'll get all that worked out and I'll catch up with you next week. But trust and know that a very, what I think is a very important step is in the process of incubating and hatching. And as I have more details, I will share them with you. I look forward to seeing you in the course in January or February, or maybe I'll do it every month, but it has to launch at some point and it will get refined through fire as we learn things and go along. Don't forget that. Follow your dreams. That's what I'm doing and it's working out all right. Thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great day. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much.